guys we're over here at grandpa's this morning doing chores and we are going to move the grain bin that's over here at grandpa's over to the dairy so that's our old hog barn that we haven't used in probably about 20 years We got her loaded up and we are actually getting over here to the dairy here at mom and dad So grandpa's is only two miles away from the dairy farm here. So it's not too bad a hole or too far Got done putting the anchors in for the grain bins here keep them from blowing away and nathan is over here doing great work for the copper we're going to pour on thursday on this alley Electric dug in, put in the barn today. We're digging a trench over there. Getting that put in, trying to remember where everything got put over the years and not hit something. Guys, it's Wednesday and we had a good day today. So the builders came back today and they built the wall here around the robot. Um, they left this back part exposed because the spray foam guy will be coming in here next week. And um, you can kind of see on this one here, they put in this header here, and that way, whenever we go to put in this second robot, we can come in here, cut out this section of wall that we won't need here, and we'll still have that header overhead. You know, be, be in place and ready to go for a second robot, so. They put in the ceiling here, and it looks pretty good. Got to put in around that shaft for that fan. Now we won't have any birds going up in our ceiling anymore, and. The birds were up there this week. They were already tearing the insulation out up there. So that was really annoying. So glad to have them in here. So uh, they came in here too and put the vinyl uh, stuff up hidden the ceiling here. And these two back rooms, they finished up the tin back there, but they got this wall done. Um, so they got a lot done today. And they're pretty, pretty impressive at what they do. So, uh, but yeah. Let me see. There we go. That's better. So that's uh, the robot with the wall around it now. So it's kind of starting to look actually like a robot room in here. Kind of what I've seen over the over 10 farms that I've toured looking at different robots. Um, this is kind of what they start to look like when you get a wall built around them. Kind of starts to make a little more sense. So that was good. We had a really, really good productive day that way. Um, Tomorrow we're gonna get the uh, concrete poured back here that we were working on today. We got all that stuff formed up. And um, the glass guy that's for that viewing room, the glass that's gonna be in there, he's gonna come and put that in tomorrow. And that'll be good. So yeah, uh, tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, we're gonna come back here and pour the concrete to widen this alley. So. Uh, yeah, we got that, oh, just a long run of two by fours. We framed up for that outside edge and then we'll just screed off of the inside part of that existing alley um, and do that. Nathan's gonna run down tomorrow morning and go to a rental place and get a screed board to make it easier on ourselves and try to do a better job. Uh, so. so tomorrow morning we'll throw that stuff in there. Um, kind of like I call it, like a I don't know, sidewalk mesh. That's what we're basically gonna put down there instead of using rebar, so it'll be good. Cheers. 
tracks done. One truck to go. Alrighty, it's Friday and we got the forms popped off this morning. Here's kind of how it turned out. So yesterday we poured this and oh, it got kind of dry on us and uh, it didn't finish the best, but it'll work good enough for a cow walk. So that should be plenty wide for those cows now. And so anyway, uh, we got it all the way poured up into here and next week we'll have the concrete guys come back that done the rest of the work and they'll come in here and pour the rest of that and that'll be good we should be done with concrete then so just had a little bit of a fiasco here we had uh i came around the corner and all of this sheeting that's laying right here was blowing across the yard so i've got it stacked on the other side of the garage over there and i threw uh several uh, treated two by fours or two by sixes rather on top of it and i come around the corner and i see them all blowing across the yard so they had blown those boards right off the top and the sheets were just blowing off one by one flying across the yard so i'm glad i caught that but i was the only one here and so i was running across the yard i called john and john's at john deere half hour away and nathan's gone for a funeral and and bryce had just left like a half hour earlier so well anyway it's just one of them deals the wind's kind of a pain sometimes and uh, when just when you think you're kind of prepared for it you find out you're not so i think it's going to be all right this stuff's pretty forgiving it's there's probably there's a couple little places where it crinkled a little bit but uh for the most part it all seemed to be pretty good so i'm gonna go ahead and throw all this stuff in here and get it stacked inside so that it can't well blow away anymore so anyway i think that'll be it for today guys we'll see you next time